Alright, hi people, it's Jigs here, and I'm here to do an unboxing and review for you guys today of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Master Morpher, which, yeah, this got announced, I believe, a year ago, or a little over a year ago. Uh, possibly, I think it was before Jason David Frank died, um... And then it was, or it was rumored, and then it was fully confirmed or something like that. Because there was an interviewer who interviewed him before he died. And Jason David Frank told him in private, or in, maybe not in private, but in secret that, um, there was one coming and he was, and he actually pitched to Hasbro um, this Master Morpher, because, uh, they approached him with record, with, I think, recording lines for a White Ranger Morpher or something like that, maybe a Green Ranger Morpher, either way, or one that had both coins, or all three coins, but he told them, you know what you could do to make a lot of money? Master Morpher. And, but they didn't know what the Master Morpher was, because, well, if we're being completely honest, I'm not surprised that they didn't exactly know, because, um... The Master Morpher premiered in uh, Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel, which, even though that was when Hasbro became the toy distributor or toy company for Power Rangers, um, and it was before they had bought in the franchise wholesale from uh, Haim Saban, the, it was um, still a thing of, uh, well, Super Ninja Steel was fully written and produced and airing, or it was going to be aired before they became the toy company behind the show. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess he then explained what it was, and then they got to work on it, and then, yeah, so yeah. And before he died, they had him record some phrase, a bunch of phrases for this thing, I don't know, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to get all of them, because I think they're randomized, and then on top of that, um, don't know exactly how many there are. I think there's like five or six per coin, so I'm going to try to get all of them, but yeah. So yeah, and then on top of that, if I have any, like, problems in regards to if I'm missing certain coins, or if certain other coins got packaged in here that shouldn't have, I'm probably one of the last people to get one of these from the initial pre-order that went up a few months ago, but, um, so maybe that probably shouldn't happen, but yeah, um, that'd be sad, but yeah, so let's take a look at the box before I open it and start reviewing it, so yeah, on the front, you got the render of the Master Morpher, which is really nice, uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo right there, you got the flashing light bulb, because I think that means flashing lights, and then sound for sounds, he got a an artist rendition of Jason David Frank from the Dimensions in Danger special that this premiered in. So yeah, I'm really surprised that um Bandai didn't produce a version of this. Uh, it's only been a fan uh, like or yeah fan mods of existing ones I think that have been around or even people have ma probably made them wholesale. So yeah. This is Tommy Oliver, Master Morpher, right there. So, yeah. So we got the side right here. We got the Lightning Collection logo. Jason David Frank, again, the uh, art of him. And he, he's dressed exactly like he was in Dimensions in Danger, which is nice. Holding the Master Morpher. And on the side right here, it says Lightning Collection, Tommy Oliver, Master Morpher. And then the Master Morpher open with the Dragon Zord coin, which is nice. And then the back here... <coughs> which has all six of the coins in it that's showing off what lights they make, although the coins are out of order because you got Falcon Sword Coin, Dragon Sword, Dino Thunder, Tiger Sword, Zeo, and, or Turbo, and Zeo. So, yeah. Um, it says six power coins. Hell yeah, or Master Morpher, Winning Collection Logo again, Diecast Coins. And showing the dimensions of this thing is 3.75 inches. And just showing off the um, the Master Morpher, the holster, uh, slash belt buckle. Because in G-Ranger, which Mighty Morphin Season 1 is based on, um, 
And that's a lot of the stuff from Seasons 2 and 3 of Mighty Morphin as well are based on... Um, these were called the Dino Bucklers, and they were uh, essentially belt buckles that were on the Rangers' um, waist, essentially, uh, on their pants or on their belts. And, yeah, so that translated into Power Rangers basically the same way. So, yeah. But just showing off it off on the... Uh, little mount that they have, and showing off all the coins, which is really nice. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, none really on the bottom. And then this on the top is actually really cool. I'm actually taking a real look at this. You have all the helmets for Jason David Frank, or Tommy's um, Ranger costumes, which is nice, and the Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo. Really feel it really does feel like a premium product when you feel like that. Although I think the pricing could have been better, but it's a, that's the Lightning Collection line in general, and a lot of actually Hasbro products for Power Rangers. And then I accidentally made a Ranger figure fall over. But yeah, um, so then we have this little insert that shows how to use it and everything and then some legal information and this I think is the legal information in different languages which is just interesting and a little thing for I guess the copyright information Here you have the uh, belt buckle holster thing, which is nice. Um, got the little mount thing, which this actually opens and you can put all the coins in there if you want, which that's pretty nice. It reminds me of a Pokeball from Pokemon, but yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah. And then, yeah. let's get that out of the way. And here we go with the Master Morpher. On the back, you have the Z, which in Power Rangers lore is for or represents Zordon, but it's actually a Z meaning Z Ranger from that. And then we flip this over and we got the Master Morpher, which is really nice. Um, got the, uh, that, not die cast, uh, but whatever the hell this is called. This type of uh, plastic that's, that looks metallic that they have. Um, that was also on the Zap Lightning, or Zap Megazord and Dragon Zord, and I think the um in space astro megazord so yeah that's actually really cool so yeah so right here flip this down and then do that and if it's open this doesn't come with batteries unfortunately uh it takes three triple a's which it says right on the box right there but yeah I'll do that off screen after I open this. Got a little box, which just actually feels nice. And these are podcast metal, which I can actually feel because they're a bit heavy. Which is actually pretty nice. I didn't get the original or the base version of the Power Morpher because, well, I didn't think it was going to be soft print, or I didn't think it was going to go out of out of circulation and be really hard to find for a good price. But, well, I'm regretting it. Same with some of the Lightning Collection uh, figures. But yeah. So we have all the coins. Ooh, these are cold because of transit, I assume. So we have the Zeo coin. Which that, that actually looks pretty good. From what I have heard from other reviews, apparently uh, some people were having, like, uh, red paint splotches on other places are not having complete paint. 
Mine, okay, mine has a little bit of paint right there, but otherwise looks fine. Um, uh, points on the star on the bottom don't look like they're fully painted, but that's whatever. And then we got the turbo coin, which honestly, honestly, this, this looks pretty cool. Um, you got the Tiger Zord coin, which is really nice. And these do have like a sort of weathered look. Falcon Zord. Which I'm I'm glad that they did include that. I didn't think that they were going to. Because, well, the Falcon Zord and White Tiger Powers use the same suit. So, yeah. And then we got the Dragon Zord coin, which is nice. I do like that. And then we have the Dino Thunder coin. So yeah, all the coins are the right ones, which is nice. If you get one of these and you get the wrong coins, do contact Hasbro support. Hopefully they will get you the right coins um, without it being hassle. So yeah, going to have to put some AAA batteries in this and be right back. All right, so got some batteries, which, yeah, not going to have batteries in this forever. I'm going to have to get some other AAA batteries, but yeah, you do need a screwdriver to open up the back compartment, but yeah. That's actually really cool. Okay, so the springs on here have a little bit of a problem on mine, at the very least, for fully opening, but yeah. And then just to show this, I'm showing Master Morpher in there, which, yeah, that's not properly, it's not properly fitted to be like this, because it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to go in like this, because that's how, you know, the rangers in the show are supposed to pull down this handle, pull it out, and then do the morph. I literally just watched the last, the first three episodes of Zoo Ranger last night, because I'm planning on doing a review for the entire series, but which you guys will see in the future. But, um, yeah. And, like, I assume Power Rangers are mainly the same way. I don't know. But, yeah, so, since we have all these, let's... Coins. So yeah, you insert them. Makes a sound. Has a pulsing glow. So yeah, he, uh, it opens up, and he makes a randomized sound. And there's about five or six per thing. Dragon sword. There's some sounds that are baffling, or some voice phrases that were baffling. Like, it seems like either he was ad-libbing some, or they had a certain script for him, or maybe it was both. But yeah. I wish I had a list of the phrases that this thing says, but yeah. Sometimes the original is the best. Don't worry, this is a good kind of green. <laughs> yeah, that took three tries. I guess it's randomized the number of times that that pops up to the randomized phrase for that.
that's actually a good sound quality. That's that's comparable to the sound quality I get from the um or I got from the uh the uh, Gokaiger Memorial Mobirate. So. So I think I got all of them that I need, that I can. <laughs> Go on, keep trying, see what happens. And yeah, if you keep this closed and hit the button a certain number of times. <laughs> Go on, keep trying, see what happens. That's just gonna, it's just gonna say a phrase like that. First time it took two times, and I think the second time it took like three. So yeah. So here we go with the white tiger coin. White Ranger, tiger power! Unfortunately, I don't think he says uh, Tiger Zord for some reason. I just don't... I don't understand how they didn't get all of the, like, general morph calls. Like, uh, for the Green Ranger... They got Dragon Zord. They got its Morphin Time. Falcon Zord, I believe they did get the Falcon Zord call. Zeo, I don't know if they got him, if they put the its Morphin Time phrase in that. Uh, Turbo, I think they have Shift in the Turbo. And then Dino Thunder, they don't have Dino Thunder Power Up for some reason. Why? I think he even said that in the special. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Some of the phrases I don't necessarily mind, but he has such awkward delivery for some of them. It's a... Ah, tiger style. Like when he said he, when he said the phrase before that about getting Saba and the gangs all back together, he said that so, like, questioningly. Like, he had just read the phrase for the first time off a of script. I could believe that, but I didn't... That shouldn't be in the final product. You should do a few takes where he has more confidence in the line and he has it more memorized so he can give a good, like, d believable delivery. All right, Saba, let's do it. I actually kind of do... Vanilla, chocolate, smoothies from Ernie's Juice Bar. You know what I'm talking about. That sounds like an ad lib, but, um... Yeah, uh, I actually don't mind that they put in the f sound effect for um, Tiger's Ord, so, yeah. Ooh, tiger style! Kind of sound, what? Tiger power! Isa! Yeah, he has a few variations on basically the same thing. Yeah, let's see if there's a secret sound. <laughs> Go on. Keep trying. See what happens. Okay, so I guess there's just one phrase for that. I'll test another one just to make sure. But yeah. Yeah, I just want to say, this button just got stuck for a second, and I don't know why that was. Power up! Let's do it, guys! Ninja Ranger power! Hmm. 
That was weird. Ancient powers of the ninjas gonna take you down. White Ranger Falcazor. I do like that they have that phrase in there. It reminds me of Forever Red. Ninja Ranger power. I think that's all I can get from that. Again, the, uh, the voice lines are randomized, so. so yeah, so now Zeo. This in the wrong way. <laughs> the top is small, bottom is. Better. I like that 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 has that red. Seal Ranger Five Red. Right, I was just gonna do this. Okay, so yeah, that is just the f one phrase that it says. Time to show you how it's done. Smorphin time! Crystal powered morpher, seal five, activate! I think one of the phrases I got was the Ranger 5 red, which is good. Um. Yeah, no, I don't know. Got all the phrases I can out of that. And we got Turbo, which I actually kind of like the Car Ranger logo, honestly. Ready? Let's do it! Shift to the Turbo! There we go, there's Shift to the Turbo. And I got a car revving sound, which is nice. Which it's funny. I don't think that he went uh, red turbo in the special either, but theoretically he could. Red lightning, turbo power now. All right, guys, shift to the turbo. all the randomized options that can happen. Can't slow down the Turbo Red Ranger. Okay, I think that's it. Now we have Dino Thunder. Nice, like, purplish, bluish kind of glow, which is nice. And it comes through the cracks, too, which is nice. Yeah, it's Dino Thunder Black Ranger, but not Dino Thunder Power Up for some reason. Doctor O, coming in. Okay. Brachial Power now. All right, 
knuckleheads. Power up! Brachial power, coming in. It's a... I believe for this coin he has a few more variations or a few more just phrases in general than the other coins, so... Which, you got that PhD in less than, like, I don't know, five years. <laughs> Dino Thunder, Black Ranger. Or five or six years. Something like that. Dr. O, coming right at you. Brachial power, now! I feel like that's supposed to be like a Bond, James Bond type of line, but it goes on too long, so it loses kind of some of its impact by the time it's done. Dino Thunder, Black Ranger. Would it really have killed them just to do Dino Thunder power up, even if they had to like patch it in or get it from one of the episodes? Because it's funny, like, I never really watched a lot of Mighty Morphin as a kid outside of the movie and some stray episodes here and there that were in, re that were in reruns. But I did watch a lot of uh, Dino Thunder because I was the target demographic when that aired. So, yeah, I think I have, I think I got all of the um, sounds that I can out of that coin. I do apologize if I missed any, but yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to show that off. And show off when or how they want this to be displayed. So you just put this in there, clicks in. Uh, hold on. Dragon sword power now. So for some reason there is no on and off switch here. You could have easily hit it under where the uh, where this is, you could have put it like right there, or right there, or somewhere along those lines. And also, I wish, I wish there was a switch so you could put like um, off, on, which would give you all the voice phrases and everything, and then a version, or then a switch or a setting to just have the uh, the sound effects. Because I think that, that easily could have been done. But yeah, I do like how the copyright information is also hidden under where this comes down. That's actually really nice. But yeah. So we have that. You can just basically put whatever coin you want in there. And then put all the coins in here. And we have that. Uh, oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. Now. So yeah, just to show this off on camera. Make sure the coins don't fall, because it feels like they would if I bent it too far to the left or right. But anyways, um, yeah. So, here we go with the Master Morpher. And also just to show this off if you wanted to. You could put all the coins in there for storage. So yeah. So yeah, that's the um, that's the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Master Morpher. Um, so basically, um, I do think that this is one of the better like products in regards to like uh, morphers at the very least that Hasbro has done. 
like ever. Uh, which, granted, I only have like a few of their morphers. I have the one from Beast Morphers, and I have the one from Dino Fury. Don't know if I get the Cosmic Fury one, because I don't really care for it. But, um, yeah, um, basically, um, I, I do honestly like it. Um, I think that it is pretty well done. Um, I think that they did take a good amount of advice, or they did take Jason David Frank's pitch and just did a pretty good job with this. Unfortunately, it's missing some of the more phrases. It's, uh, some of the, some of the voice lines are weird, um, and everything. Um, and I honestly do think some more care could have gone into this. I think some of the design choices are weird, like the fact that you, you can put, uh, the morpher in this way, but it doesn't want to stay because it doesn't click in. Just for some reason that I can't fathom because it wasn't molded right to have it this way like it should um because it was just molded so that this could go in this way it's weird but yeah um having all six coins that represent Tommy's tenure is really cool um I do like the chrome effect that's right there um on the Morpher itself um yeah, no switch to turn it on or off is baffling to me. Um, at the very least, even though they're inside of the battery compartment, the uh, Bandai Memorial Edition stuff does have, or do have switches to turn them on or off. Um, as well as, I think, easier com easier ways to open the battery compartments, because remember, on the uh, Memorial Edition stuff... Um, where the battery compartments are, they have a button that you can push in with, like, um, a paper clip or something, and then slide it out, whereas here, this is just a, um, a screw to hold it in, which, yeah. Which, granted, considering this is for, um, collectors, it even says 18 plus right there. I'm not, I don't know. It's one way or the other with that. Um... I do kind of like Bandai's way of doing it better. And I mean, in regards to an on-off switch, I think that they could have also put it under the battery compartment, like the like the Memorial Edition stuff gets. But yeah, but yeah. So there are a few things I think that could they could have done better. I think like some of the voice raises and the on and off switch and better molding of the belt buckle part. But um, I do honestly like this. Um, since I missed out on the original release of the uh, Power Morpher from Hasbro, this is good to have, um, and it is a good thing that we are getting this. I think they did wait, wait a good amount of time after Jason David Frank died to um, release this. It's good that they got a bunch of voice phrases from him, um, and yeah. Um, so as the last thing we're gonna get featuring Jason David Frank and anything really in regards to Power Rangers it's it's interesting um but yeah I do recommend it if you want to get it if you do like the Master Morphers design and everything from Dimensions in Danger I do recommend it um but yeah but just know you also do you definitely do need to get some AAA batteries it gets three and then yeah but uh overall do like this recommend it so yeah if you want to get it so yeah hopefully hasbro does more pre-orders and more sales for these um so that as many people that want it can get it so yeah but that's basically it so yeah links description to all of my shit subscribe if you want and i'll see you guys in the next one